It's been a problem for decades in Annapolis, one complaint after the other about traffic throughout the area. Now city leaders are hoping drones can help with the solution. WJC's live in Annapolis tonight, Rick Ritter with the unique idea. Rick. Well, Vic, for years, many have complained about the traffic here along Forest Drive. At times, it can be backed up for hours, and now city leaders are trying to find a new solution for an old problem. Hovering around downtown, this is what you'll soon see flying in Annapolis. A full court press to tackle a problem that's lingered for years. People have been frustrated. I've lived here my whole life. It's been an issue, so this is one way we're going to try to make it better. Traffic jams along the heavily traveled Forest Drive, what can be a nightmare at times. It could be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to three hours that we, we could be backed up. The gridlock is often the aftermath of accidents and road work. Now the Annapolis Police Department turns to drones to better assess accidents and take on most of the work. It's going to allow us to redeploy our resources instead of having three or four officers out there directing traffic, blocking lanes, etc. The drones can be used to take measurements, mark evidence, and investigate damages the work officers currently do out on the roadways, speeding up the investigation while keeping traffic moving. I mean, the average uh, accident sometimes would take three hours. Now it can be done as quick as an hour. So we're really looking forward to this. The push of drones is part of a new agreement between Annapolis and Anne Arundel County, one that's centered around technology and the Forest Drive corridor. It's the constant complaints about traffic in Annapolis. By using this, we can be up in the air in a matter of minutes, as you saw, and, and begin uh, making things happen. What could be the new wave of investigating accidents? And each drone with training for the officer costs around $2,000. Officials are hoping to use it for more than just accidents, possibly even homicide investigations as well. Live in Annapolis tonight, I'm Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. Forest Drive is currently maintained by both the city and the county.